Welcome to the Tech Source. My name is Dan, as always. Now, today we're going to be reviewing a product provided by Noctua. Thank you guys for sending us your products to review. Now, we're, we're very happy to have your products on the show. We, I, I am a big fan of your products, and, well, I'm glad to finally review them. And um, basically, today we're going to be starting off with the NF P14 Flex Fan. Now, this is a 14 centimeter fan, but here's the kicker. Check this out. It's compatible with 12 millimeter fan socket, or 12 centimeter fan sockets, my bad. As you can see here, we have it mounted on a Corsair A50 CPU cooler, and that's a 12 centimeter fan CPU cooler. Well, now it's got a 14 centimeter fan. Imagine the cooling this thing kicks now. Uh, but we'll get on to that later. Um, basically, when we're testing it, we're going to be doing I idle and load on a uh, AMD 4000 Plus overclock to 2.7 gigahertz. So that's uh, a pretty steep overclock over the stock clocks. I think it was like 2.1, 2.2 gigahertz. And it's a dual core processor. Nothing too crazy, but it's something I had. And it was a perfect match without taking apart my main system. So um, some other awesome things. We're going to be testing this with uh, doing some... Audible tests. Now, no numbers here. The tech source, we're not, we're not all about numbers. We're about, you know, real world examples and real world testing, really. So what I did is we use our Zoom H1 mic, which you're listening to right now. That's how we record. It's on a boom. And um, I put it one foot away from the CPU cooler and uh, turned the PC on, basically. So I tested against the stock cooler fan and the Noctua fan. So that's, I think, a unique way of testing it. And uh, it gives you a real world result, I think. And we're gonna do. We're gonna keep that as a standard through every review we do for any audible tests. Uh, no numbers here. We want to, you know, you want to hear it. The number really doesn't tell you anything. So, um, what's awesome about these Noctua fans, and what's unique about them? Now, moving on, the Noctua fan, as I already mentioned, you can mount it in 12 meter, 12, <laughs> 12 centimeter fan slots. That's pretty cool. I think that alone makes this fan an awesome winner right in our books. But what even makes it even better? It's got a unique color scheme which makes it different and everyone knows you're using a Noctua fan or Noctua product for that matter because Noctua keeps a very unique look with all their products. You can love it or hate it, but you know what? At the end of the day, these are amazing fans. Some other awesome things they have, they have these vertex notches. They got a rough surface on the top of the fan, but then on the bottom it's smoother and that's all the combat noise and also help with static pressure because they have multiple blades and every third blade, the notches on the ends of the blade are actually different in different spots. And that's also to reduce noise against grills and also to help with static pressure. So it's really awesome how these fans are actually uh, really well engineered. And then on top of that, they have an SSO bearing. If you have never heard of an SSO bearing, please click on the link down below. It'll explain it fully. It's on Noctua's site. Basically, it's not a sleeve bearing. It's not a double ball bearing. It's a bearing that will last forever. Like, trust me, it will last forever. Dave has had Noctua fans running in his PC for over a year, 24 seven. Like he never turns his PC off because he doesn't pay for hydro. So um, his PC never turns off and he's had Noctua fans just running forever and ever and ever. And they don't die. He's had multiple sleeve ball bearing fans die because he just keeps PCs running all the time. Uh, don't ask me why he does that, but that's what he does. Um, but anyways, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna test these. So we're gonna move on to some temperature results and then we're gonna do some noise results and then we'll wrap it all up. So. Stick around, this should be really interesting and it should be fun. All right, so this is the portion of the review where I'm gonna show you how loud this fan really is. And it's not very loud at all. I'm, you'll see in a few seconds. Um, here at the techsource.tv, we like to show you guys real world results, not numbers. So you're actually gonna be able to hear this and what it actually sounds like. So where's my trusty ruler? The mic, as you can see, is right here, um, is exactly one foot away. So this is, this is a one foot ruler of 30 centimeters. Um, so it's gonna give you a pretty good uh, sound. And this is even with the case off. So this is like really gonna exaggerate it. And this room that I'm in is dead silent. So without further ado, I'm gonna turn the machine on. I'm gonna shut up. And you can hear it for about 15 seconds. And now we're gonna cut to the uh, stock fan. Okay, so here's the knock to a stock fan. 
I mean, the Corsair stock fan, my bad. Uh, this is the fan the A50 comes with, and we're going to go ahead and test it. So I'm going to shut up for about 15 seconds again. And there you have it, the Corsair Stock Fan. So, as you can see, the test results uh, are pretty unanimous. This thing cleans up the floor over the stock fan, as you can see. It's actually a really good fan, and compared to a lot of fans, it's really quiet. It has long-lasting bearings. Um, you know, The only downside you can really see about this is maybe it's a hate-or-love-it color scheme. That's about it. But even then, it doesn't stick out that bad. And if you really think about it, it's an awesome marketing move making their fans a unique color. So... But let's see, what did I like and what did I dislike about this fan? Well, what I liked was it comes in at a decent price. Some people may think it's also steep. So we're gonna keep that one at a neutral. The price is around 19 bucks. Some people may think that's expensive. Some people may say that's, that's not that bad for a fan. Um, now, other things that we did like is it pushed lots of air. It did it quietly. It came with voltage regulators for 1200, 900 and 600 RPM, which is great. Uh, and then also we have uh, a sleeve a sleeve cable for it so that makes it look that makes it look awesome it's easy to hide your cables and they don't look like crap and um very easy to mount it love all the uh, hardware it comes with it even comes with the anti-vibration in the box so and even even still these fans don't vibrate at all they're perfectly balanced and the the quality of them is just top notch uh, i haven't felt a fan that feels any really any better than this for a long time not many other fans that have a really high quality feel to them like this so this is a very unique product, and uh, it's something you definitely should check out if you're looking for even a 12 centimeter or a 14 centimeter fan because it works for both. Just keep a note, it is a true 14 centimeter fan, so it might not fit in some tighter 12 millimeter fan sl slots, even though it does have the mounting hardware. But anyways, guys, uh, the tech source gives this our seal of approval, and this is an amazing product. So. Um, thank you for Noctua for sending us this, this fan for them to, for us to review for them. So thank you guys and we will see you next time on the TechSource.tv.